Welcome back YouTubers, this is Ken from Ken Averson Plastering. Today we're up here in Davis to do a service panel repair. And what we're going to do today is we're going to crack this back a couple of inches to expose some wire and tie the new wire in with the old wire. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to waterproof this with some paper. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up and counter flash that up above. We've got about a four foot overhang here, so we really don't have to worry too much about the waterproofing, but we're gonna do it anyway to show you how it's done. So I'm gonna get my safety glasses on and get my air chisel hammer and be right back with you. Okay, welcome back. I've got my hearing protection, I've got my eye protection, and I've got my air chisel hammer. I can feel the paper, it's right here on the edge. Okay, once you've come this far, and you've got most of the stucco chiseled out at least two inches around the whole perimeter of the box, then it's time to start cleaning it up. You gotta prepare it now. A little more prep work involved before we can move forward. Now, I didn't have a pry bar in my truck, but I did have two claw hammers to kind of pull the stucco back. And there it is like this. It's a, little, it's a little too tight in there to get my paper in, but if I Make a little room. It should be a little bit easier to get my paper down in there. So once you've got it this far, now's the time to start pulling your wire back so you have room to work. Clean out all these little rocks along the, along the bottom edge so you have room to tuck your paper down. Okay, I found my gloves. I wish I would have had these earlier when I was doing the demo, but it's not too late. So our first step in waterproofing this is to use some black paper. Which is standard in the industry. This is 60 minute black paper. I'm going to cut some strips about seven inches wide and I'm going to cut them in half so it makes it easier to work it back in behind that uh, stucco. This service panel has a wide flange, a wide nailing flange, which only gives us about a quarter of an inch to nail to on the outside there.
Once you've gotten this far, you have your service panel blacked out. There's only two more steps you need to take before you can start folding this wire down and then putting new lath in. And the, the first step is to run bitumen around the perimeter, like you were doing a window. You know that's going to give you insurance that it's not going to leak. And then the last step before we put wire on, you're going to want to caulk any holes and caulk around the perimeter here. Tomorrow slides by, we'll lie still be wondering why The signs in the sand keep fading away Keep fading away, yeah The winds will all grow while life passes by Like a light on the train is fading away Once I was lost, but I see a path up ahead with no time to lose is fading away if you can try to roll your bitch of thing up onto the metal part underneath the box Once again, my bitch of thing is rolling up on the edge of the box over here. I'm getting a really good seal around the whole thing. This is December, uh, December 9th, I believe. So it's pretty cool out right now. Uh, sometimes in this area, it gets to be about 100 degrees in the summertime. And if I was out here doing this in that heat, uh, the bitchathane would be a lot more of a challenge than it is right now. can roll this wire back on there now, caulk around the perimeter and any other holes that you know that need to be caulked, and then we can run our wire. I 
got some new bags on me today. Still trying to get used to them. Okay, this is the wire we're using today. This is 3 8 inch high rib lath. I have, to have this little bit of a ridge right here. And I'm going to run that up here where there's no backing really. The, uh, uh, the electrical panel doesn't have uh, a nailing flange on the bottom. So it's, uh, it's always loose right there. That's why we run the bichetane up to give it support so that we can uh, put our wire on here and not have to worry about it falling in or caving in. So obviously I'm just hand nailing this off. You could use a compressor and a staple gun. I have that with me, but typically this is just the way we do it. Just nail it off by hand. You're not going to staple through the flange on the side of the electrical panel. Uh, you might catch one leg of the staple in there, but that's not going to work very well. Better just to hand nail that, get it in there, toe nail it in, bend it over, and you're going to be good. this way so I'm taking advantage of that block get a nail in it right there tie wire this down any places where it's floating like that we just put a little piece of tie wire in there and tie it together nails work good an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half all right time for some tie wire and then we'll be ready to mix up some mud okay so for tying this together I've got my baling wire that I picked up at Home Depot any place where it's loose like this you reach back up in here you make a little like that Okay, we're done with the lathing portion on this service panel. Now it's time to start mixing up some mud. This texture here is sand finish, so it makes it really easy for me to do the finish coat. I'm just going to use the same material as we're using to do the uh, stucco, and we'll blend in the texture, and we'll be out of here. Won't have to come back. 
We recommend two weeks before you paint it. Uh, we don't do the painting on that, we just do the stucco. So probably the homeowner or he'll have a painter come out and, and paint it for a few dollars. Okay, here we go. I was able to mix up a whole bag, but I know I'm going to have to mix up another another bag, one more bag, finish it off. gonna have to wait it out just wait for that mud to take up maybe 10 minutes looks like I've got enough to finish though hey, it'll be close it's, it's just taking its sweet time in this cool weather to take up but it's finally reached that point now where we're gonna put a sponge float on it blend it into the texture and then clean up and uh, get out of here the texture on this existing building here is a uh, you know it's a little bit coarse it's a uh, 1620 sand so um, we're, we're going to try this. Looks like it's going to be a perfect match. It's matching perfectly. Do all well your edges first. Get that out of the way. Okay, that about does it for this segment on electrical service panel stucco repair. 
and I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it.